我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我家,我
I want to get there where the boat leaves for Macau. You understand? Please stop and they're taking you like you want every hour. You understand this one dollar business, all right? Now keep on going. Boat! Macau! Maybe you'd like a pair of earrings to go with it. Would you shut up? Listen, if you bring that thing to the hotel, I'll throw it out the window. Stop it, Tom. I have enough of this. Uh, oh, don't give me that. I'm going to walk. Excuse me. What's the matter? You in trouble? Yes. Private right trouble. This boy's running me around in circles till I'm busy. Why, well, I'm surprised at you. Is there any place you'd like to go in particular, lady? Oh, what do you think? Well, uh, I thought you were just out for a buggy ride. Right? Mm, not for a dollar now. Are you getting jipped? Well, to get there. Well, I know, but it's several, several hours on a boat. Besides, you're going to be able to take care of yourself when you get there. Any, anything's likely to happen with Carl. Why, it's a sink full of gambling and all sorts of men. Well, you don't want to go to Macau. I can take care of myself. Okay. Uh, you savvy folk go to Macau? You savvy Please now? Me, all right. I'm going to follow you. If you go wrong, you'll be standing up for a month. You very strong young man. You go many places. What height? How do you know that? A man of China see many things. Why do I not see? That bracelet seems to be very old, very valuable. That's for sale. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you uh, $200 next. Maybe sometime I see you again. Maybe so. Good afternoon, office. Hi there, my little Peach Blossom. How do you know my name is Peach Blossom? It is. <laughs> well, you see, I'm a mind reader. What are you doing tonight, Peaches? Well, the honorable gentleman, please refrain from kidding over the phone. It's against the rules. I'm sorry. Say, listen, get this straight. Will you see that Mr. Thomas Keene's baggage is sent up to his room? And if there's any mail... Don't break the door. Hey, what are you so sore about? We're missing my date at the consulate. Yeah, all on account of that screwy bracelet. Did you buy it? No. I'm glad of that. It was a charm, a fetish, a museum piece. I wonder why that peddler wouldn't sell it. Oh, that's just the usual line of Chinese hooey. But I found something better than a bracelet. What? A girl. White girl? Yeah, a white girl. What do you think of that? Well, it's a bit unusual. Can see. Listen, Tom, I'm telling you, this doll is beautiful. Oh, a hole in my sock. Here I am talking about beautiful dames, and you're talking about a hole in your sock. And another thing, I found out her name. It's uh, Trina. Pretty, ain't it? Can she cook? Stand up. You are Ken Si. You come from the village of Ken Chow, my village. Yes, Honorable Wong. You are the crafty one. The young man in that room. I wish to know every move he made while here. The big one who talks much in that long? Not he. His head is empty, nothing in it. But the other man who just came in from Nanjing. I have mails for him. See, it is from American consulate. Tao Cha. You know, I got an idea. Maybe we ought to go to Macau for the weekend. What do you say? No. Yeah, that's what I said. Come in. Any mail for me? No mail, sir. That's funny. Mr. Calder. How are you? Did you get my message? No. Well, perhaps it's just as well you didn't come to the consulate. What are you waiting for? Oh, uh, You'll be it quickie or I'll give you booty and see the penny. Mr. Walter, Mr. Calder, an old friend of mine. Excuse me, Mr. Calder. I'm on my way out. 
Will you sit down? Why didn't you report to the consulate the minute you got into town? Well, I'll tell you, I stopped to look at a bracelet. Oh, you're incorrigible. And if I didn't need you for this particular job, I... Forget that stuff. What sort of a tough assignment have you got for me this time? His name is Gil Burris, next convict in the States. He's running guns and ammunition to the natives down the coast. It's up to you to stop him. Is that all? Pleasant little job. Stop that stuff from getting into the hands of natives, no matter what you have to do. And if you get into trouble doing it, don't come back to me. This is unofficial business. Where can I find him? Macau. Okay. And don't stir up a harness nest like you did in that Nanking affair. Goodbye, my boy, and good luck. Thanks. What time does the next boat leave from Macau? The last boat leaves in 20 minutes. Thanks. Pingo is on You can see, see. Go to home, you're on the left. I Where are you going? To work. Why the gun? Looks like that kind of a job. Well, at least you can tell me where you're going. Macau. Macau? Oh, swell. I'm going too. Try to stop me. Say, have you got a toothbrush? He goes to Macau now at once. Just made it. Oh, boy, we're going to have some fun on this trip. Listen, I've got important business. So am I. That's what I said. And it's got to be handled very carefully. Yeah, that's what I said. What is it? I just saw him. Who? The guy I'm looking for. When's the shooting stop? Oh, shut up. Wait a minute. I was just thinking. In case of fire, look for the nearest fire record. Only there ain't no fire record. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's her. Trina? She's a nice company. How could a nice girl like her get mixed up? I'm with going up there. Listen. You're just a nice boy from heaven. You're only here for a short time. How are you going to get up there? Fly? I'll find out. You stay here. Okay, I'll catch you when they throw the body down. Where you going? For private party. You know go. That man you were staring at just now, you know him? No. Janet? Of anyone who even looks at you from now on. Honorable Barry, must speak with you at once. Very important. Will you excuse me, please, just a moment? The guns and the munitions for my people have arrived in Hong Kong. Then they get through all right. There's much danger. Why? The Americans who pulled the trouble at Nanking. He told me to watch for him at Hong Kong. I did. He met the counter there. He's here in Hong Kong now? He's here at the Macau. Get back to the boat. Hold the stay cool for me. We'll have to go. I'm terribly sorry, Trina, but we've got to go. Go? Back to Hong Kong. Oh, tonight of all nights. Gil, are you in trouble again? No, of course not. Might as well kill a guy, scare him to death. Did you find out anything? Yeah, they're on this boat. Together? Yeah. And I thought she was a nice girl. Nice girls don't team up with ex-jailbirds. Well, she's a swell looking girl. You gotta admit that. Well, she's pretty. What's the matter? I could have sworn I saw somebody looking in that window. But did you see anyone? Well, not exactly, but I I found a presence. It's a sort of a hunch. Well, what do you want to tell me about it if you ain't sure? Well, you asked me, didn't you, you dummy? Hey, what are you doing there? You think I want to get murdered in my bed? Oh, so you're going to sleep. Well, that'll keep you quiet for a while, anyhow. No, I ain't going to sleep. Well, make up your mind. Hey, where are you going? Oh, take a little look around. And leave me here all alone? Fifty. Room number 32. I think it's a good chance to get rid of me. Let me think about it. Oh, 
Oh, you lovely Trina. Wait a minute, dear. Yes, I've got to get clear in my mind. Anything you want to know. When a girl makes a decision about a man, she has the right to know all about him. Of course. When I met you in Vienna three years ago, I knew you had been in trouble. I helped you. And you promised me to be honest. I've kept my word. Have you, girl? It might make all the difference in both our lives. I've gone straight. Why those mysterious meetings with the Chinamen? Business. And what are you planning to do to that young man, that American? Yes, I heard. You lied to me. I'm not going to be mixed up in anything like this. Well, what are you going to do about it? Trainer. I'd like to have another stateroom. Madam, I'm so sorry. There is not another stateroom on the boards. Oh. Please. Aren't you afraid you'll catch cold? Oh, please. I'm in trouble. I can't tell you any more now. But be careful. You might give a guy a chance to get his pants on. I wonder if... Would you please let me stay here tonight? Have you got a stateroom? Yes, but... Then use it. Your request is quite unusual, to say the least. I know. And it's hard to explain. And equally hard to understand, unless... You see, I saw you two in Macau. You're American. And you seemed like the kind of people I could appeal to. Just what did Burris send you to me to find out? Then you know Mr. Burris? Yeah. I see. You think that I... Oh, I'm mistaken. I'm sorry to have bothered you. I'll go. No, you won't. You'll stay right here. All right? Yes. I suppose I ain't got nothing to say about it, huh? Right. Outside. Oh, I see. My pal, huh? If I go out, you stay in, is that it? Exactly. I don't know whether you're on the level or not, but I'm going to take a chance. How well do you know this fellow Burris? Well enough to be afraid. Then you don't know his business? No. You don't know he's a gun runner? That's it. That's all I wanted to know. And now suppose you tell us something about yourself, how you came to be here. Not now, please. Perhaps tomorrow. Look out for yourself. You're in trouble, too. I'm quite used to that. Good night. And where, Santa Claus, do we sleep? On deck chairs. Deck chairs. Why do we sleep in our room? I said deck chairs. All oh, all right, but first I'm going down to the bar and get fortified. You mean after? Yeah, that's what I said. Well, my friend, we meet again. 
I thought your business was something more than just selling beads. Come on, get up. <laughs> Say, I ought to pitch you over that rail or turn you over to the captain, and eventually you'd find yourself in chains in Nanking. Perhaps the sword of the executioner, but I shall do neither. I remember the words of your great teacher, Confucius. If thy brother attempt to kill thee, smile upon him in pity, for he hath lost his soul. I see you've lost faith with your God. Wait. Keep this. You may need it when you find that the white man who sells your people guns will lie to you, cheat you, take your silver and give you nothing. my dear. I hope you slept well. We're just docking. My car's here at the wharf, waiting to take us to the hotel. Hey, wake up. We're in. Oh, good morning, boys. Beautiful day, isn't it? What do you think of that? Oh, shut up. Hey, where'd you get that bracelet? Give me that hoodle. Where did you get this hoodle? Here, come on, give me that. Oh, look out, you're, look out, you're dropping. I'm glad it's gone. It was hard luck anyway. That's too bad, sucker. You lost, I find, you pay. Huh? You pay. Thank you. Well, you're not really going to quit me because of what you've heard from a stranger. I believe him. Oh, it's utterly ridiculous. I'm in legitimate business. I saw and heard enough last night. You mean Wong? Well, Keen has in some way made an enemy of Wong. That's his lookout. You locked me in that room and made it appear as... You were nervous over us. I locked that door for your own protection. You must think I'm pretty easy to fool, hmm? Well, I don't believe you and my mind is made up. Well... It begins to look like you're right for once. But I gotta be sure. If she's using me, then turn about fair play. Listen, that dame's too smart for you. And if you ask me, I think she's got your grubby. Oh, the light that lies in woman's eyes and lies and lies oh, and lies. shut up. And me, with two perfectly good tickets for the polo game. Give me those. Connect me with room 214. Hello. Oh, just a minute, please. To you. Hello. Yes. It is quite impossible now. But if you've never seen a polo game in Hong Kong, it's quite worthwhile. Besides, I want to talk to you about something important. I call you back. The young man? Yes? Why don't you see him? Have a little talk with him. 
find out all the things of which he imagines me guilty, then in fairness to me, give me a decent chance to clear myself. He wants me to go to the porn again. Oh, splendid. You'll enjoy it. It's very colorful. Lots of action. Then when you come back, persuade him to see me. I'll convince him very quickly that he's barking up the wrong tree. Hello? Hello? Yes? Yes. Fine. All right, I'll see you downstairs in, say, an hour. She's going. On my ticket. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, hello, Blake. You gotta get out of the warehouse right away. It's about that shipment of eggs. Uh, yes, eggs spoiled very quickly in this climate. Well, these eggs are pretty hot. There's a couple of guys watching the warehouse, and coolies are getting pretty jumpy. Is my boat in yet? Not yet. Well, we'll find Long, have him move the boat in, and then we'll work fast. Eggs. I came out here to marry him. My boat arrived here three days ago. Mr. Burris didn't meet me, but he left me a message that I should meet him in Macau. He was kind, considerate. Everything seemed to be all right. Right after we were. Then last night, all those things happened. You probably think I'm crazy. <laughs> Who isn't sometimes? Last night seems like a sort of bad dream, doesn't it? Sure does, when I see you in the clear light of day. Am I as bad as that? You're lovely. Please. You're so sure of yourself, but isn't there a possibility that you're wrong once? Anyone can be wrong once. Then, will you do something for me? Almost anything. See Mr. Burris with me at his office. Give him a chance to explain. Thanks.
Okay. The munitions are satisfactory. The silver is ready for you at the village of Tinchel. We'll move them on the outside. Is the boat set? Dark soon. I'll bring her in alongside. Better get the boat set now. Come on, Blake. We've got another job to do first. Idea. I'm just setting the stage for the entrance of our inquisitive young friend. You come in? Well, this is a pleasure. So kind of you to come to see me. Don't mention it. I didn't come for your sake. I can readily understand that. Trina, do you mind waiting in the hall? It looks like you're in trouble. It seems to me you're the one who's in trouble right now. We're going to have a showdown. That suits me. Keen, you're beginning to get in my hair. But not under your skin. That's too tough to penetrate. You're not getting away with this thing. I'll give you a chance to lay off of me. Will you do it? What do you think? I'm asking you. What are those? Don't you know? No. Peter, do I? Then you're not in with Burris? What do you mean, goes off? Say, uh, how much has your job been paying you? Two hundred a month, then, cakes. How'd you like to make a couple of thousand? Listen, Burris, I'm not interested in any rotten proposition you can offer. My job is to stop you and your murderous traffic. Well? Thank you. 
That explosion will bring all the cops in Hong Kong here. Start moving. What are you going to do with him? Just what he did to Blake. Take Lady Bolt, plenty quick. Sammy? ready to shove off. Before you come on board, a man of China always pays debt. You give me my life once, I give you yours now. Now we even. Wait. My people, my ancestors, owe you much. But you not follow, or I must shoot. Anchor. Not now. Oh, where are you going? Up to that village. 
But you could call me now. I've got to keep that stuff out of the hands of the natives. It means hundreds of lives. Oh, but Tom! You stay here and be ready to go when you see me coming back. Oh! There you are, that's the last case. Come on, Come on. This is satisfactory. When I get this stuff on board, I'll deliver the cartridges. Then they can kill whoever they want, themselves, white men, anything. Only I'm not taking any chances that they'll get me. When you know now, it's just a pin guard. Burning a teen child will bring the British cruisers on me like a pack of bulldogs. Then go. Langhorne Island. I've either I've used it before. 
But the munition belongs to my people. They paid for it. Oh, they'll get it. But not until this thing blows over. You promise? Sure, I promise. is low. Ash is in here with fury. No one could get through it without being killed. Naya. Get out. of you at any time, Mr. Keene, but violence is quite useless and pointless when there is a better way to eliminate an annoyance. You're going to leave us here? Why not? I have a very romantic nature. I wouldn't think of stepping on love's young green. Before the International Court, Mr. Keene, you're in as deep as myself because you started the fight that caused the burning of Teen Chow. Really, I should thank you for that. You see, I have the silver, and I didn't have to deliver the munitions. I can sell these to some other village when this affair blows over. I'll be back in a month, if you're still alive. I'll be very much surprised if you're dead. Change of course, uh, southwest by west. Aye, aye, sir. Four of both make an investigation. Aye, aye. Bring our box to the wind and we'll drop the key anchor. Aye, aye, sir.
dead for hours. And this Chinaman is still warm. He was evidently killed by the explosives he sent off as a rescue signal. Did you hear that? Yes. I thought I heard something when I was back there in the rock. Oh! Ah! Where are you? Ah! We can't get in there on account of the high tide. Well, we'll locate them anyway and do what we can until morning. <laughs>